Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of Inheritance. So the last episode, we picked up a lot of good stuff. I was actually shocked at how good that roll was. So um, let's have a look in the mech bay here. As you notice the griffin is not back yet. I have it outfitted. I'm not going to show you what I did to it yet. Um, I want it to be a surprise, so I'm going to leave it. I, I rolled a lot of stuff around in my head. I was incorrect about a lot of the things about that mech. One, it's not an Omni mech. Um, so things could have gone very bad. What ended up happening though, um, so we got kind of lucky. What ended up happening is we lost the one side because of an ammo explosion, but because we had uh, Clan Pharaoh, it only blew out the one side and the mech went down. So that being said, uh, the mech has been refit. Um, and so we managed to salvage one of the Rex lasers, which was good, um, and a few other things, which was which was okay. Um, I'm not going to tell you the rest of it. We're going to find out in the next episode. But in this episode, let's have a quick look at the mech bay here. So I made a couple of minor minor adjustments. So the Talos, the only thing we did to the Talos, well, we did a couple of minor things to the Talos. One, I had to pull out the Guardian ECM that was in here. I didn't want to do it, but when we when we add the weapon mount. Um, we added um, an extra half a ton and rather than pull armor off which is really the only option I had either that or downgrade the SRM6 to an SRM4 I decided to pull the Guardian ECM out um, because this guy's not being targeted a whole lot and if I can kind of draw some heat off of the other mechs with this guy with his armor the way it is like it's half decent armor for what I have so if he can take a little extra heat I'm okay with that. So he's going to be at longer distance, but I did drop an SRM2 up to make up with for the, because uh, it was one and a half tons for the Guardian. Lose a half ton because we gained a half ton with this thing, um, which is the weapons accuracy. So I dropped the SRM2 in as well. So we got SRM8 now, which is pretty good. I thought about putting the th the um, Deadfire TBM ammo in, but I would rather just drop the SRM2 in. I think I'll be fine. Uh, that puts our... Um, ammo usage at about 12 tons or 12 turns which is the same as the TBM so I'm kind of cool I'm kind of good with that uh, so with this guy we now have plus two accuracy with the armed matter weapons I was going to put the recoil compensator in this one and I'm like I don't really need to because the fire control system flak gives me minus one recoil and our pilot has minus one recoil so this is zero recoil so we're not getting any additional recoil we had the jam chance because it's an ultra but we're not getting any recoil, so we're, we're going to be shooting normally pretty much every turn, which is good. Uh, so that's the reason why I didn't um, use the uh, recoil compensator on this, this one, but the plus two accuracy is is going to make our chance to hit even better than what it was before with this thing. So that's great. We're going to be maximizing our usage of this uh, Ultra Fire. we got 10 turns of Ultra Fire on this thing, um, which we'll be maximizing now as best we can. So that was the Talos. And then I went ahead and put together the Hunchback. So the Hunchback, I wanted to try and get another ton of AMS ammo in because it's burning out quickly, but there's not much I could really do. So, I mean, it is what it is right now. So I dropped in the Advanced Zoom. Uh, I dropped in the uh, Fire Control uh, Ballistic Accuracy. So this guy should be hitting with the rifle and the, and the Ultras a lot more than what it was before. Um, this does not give us give us any recoil compensation, unfortunately. But you know, what do you do? I'll take the plus two accuracy over the recoil reduction. So we did have the quick cell, uh, where is it? Quick cell recoil compensation, but it gives us minus one accuracy. So while it's keeping the recoil down on this, it's not really giving us any bonuses to hit. It's just staving off our decrease in bonuses because of the recoil. So what we can do is because we're getting plus two accuracy, these guys will have better chance to hit at the start. Then as the as the recoil begins to drop that chance to hit, we can just cycle it off like we have been, cycle it back on again, and be fine. So I would rather have the bonus to hit with these weapons to start than having the uh, a less decoil uh, decrease in recoil reduction. So you know it, it's kind of a it's a toss up because the minus three recoil would would deal with this three recoil and the pilot would deal with this one. We wouldn't have any decrease, but then we don't have any bonus to hit either. We get minus one accuracy overall. So it's worse off now, you know, at the start, but it doesn't get any worse if we use this. With this, we're better off at the start 
and when it de decreases we just go back to doing what we did before and cycling them on and off so it's a little better um, so that was my thinking behind this one I still want to try and find a way if we can get a uh, an a XL gyro that would be nice because then I can get in um, some more AMS ammo but right now uh, we're kind of stuck with where we are so that was the hunchback now let's get into a battle here uh, I know which one I want to take um, so we're going to go with this guy here today, Roadrunner. It's uh, for House Steiner. And there's uh, they've got a well-regarded mercenary outfit to engage us in the surface. Um, they've got a single well-armed lance. So let's go down and see what that's all about. I think, we'll sh I think we should be okay with this one. Three, 315 salvage kind of scares me, but um, it could be tough. Might not be tough. Uh, we've got five units, so mm, let's just go. Command interface initiated. All right, well, we know this map. So they're down there, eh? I wonder if this is going to end up being two uh, lances again. It could very well end up being two lances. Um... Or it could be one just right here, but my guess is it's two. Uh, I mean, we could start up on the hill and just rain down terror from above. We've got the ranged units. Um, let's yeah, with the exception of the Cephalus, I think we we're pretty good up here. Um. Let's not go there. Let's go here. It just looks like it's like that's like an iffy location. I don't want to waste my first turn moving off of a terrible drop. We can get into action early. I'll we'll have to try and do that. All right. You should have. All right, Granite. Can you tell us? On my way. If we're up against anything awful. Okay, there might not be reinforcements. A copter and a talus? No. Is that a health spawn? What is that? Looks like a talos. Okay. Um Cephalus. I think you are better in close, so let's get you down. Here. Good to go. Let's keep our AMS up here. This. On my way. And you can stay back for the second. On my way. And you can move over here for the second. Okay, let's go. All right. I think it was a good play to stay up here. This could end up being a slaughter. Oh, it's a hellhound. It is. Oh, there's a mantis. Oh, that's the copter. Nice shot, man. I'm showing minor damage. Yeah, not for long. Order. All right, taser face. Let's get down here. Holding off. Decide what we're gonna do with you in a minute. Decide what we're gonna do with you in a minute. So there's one other guy up there somewhere. It'll be nice having Talos parts, because then if... I mean, it's not Talos, but I mean... If it wasn't Talos, it'd be nice having Talos parts, because if we lost the Talos, then... We would get Good to go. the ability to put it back together again, but it is what it is. Alright, let's move over here. Location confirmed. Location confirmed. See how we're doing here. Mm-hmm. I wonder if this is it. If it's just these two. Uh, let's go for what we can get early. Okay, I don't even know if we hit. By. I'm assuming we hit, but I don't know for sure. Alright, let's Order. see how we can do against this Hellhound. Alright, there's the other mech there. Hunchback, FB... Okay. 21, 20, 22% way more on this guy, though. 
Uh, let's switch this to APFSDS. Picked up. Got one on, I think. Orders? I think it was one. What do you think, Bubba? Can you shoot me down a copter? We can't even hit the copter from there, really? Can from here, though. I'm going. See if you can finish up that uh, mantis here. Did we? Oh, we did hit it. We hit it with like. That's the AC5, and I guess that was the uh, Thunderbolt. Nice. Nice shooting, man. All right, take him down. There we go. Look at it. He's going to go. He's, he's decided to go back up to the dropship. <laughs> he's like, fuck this. I'm going back to the dropship. <laughs> I love it when the, the vehicles explode and then his pieces just randomly go <laughs> wherever. It's so awesome. All right, little damage in the Ripper, not much. Here he comes, he's back now. <laughs> Dropship's like, sorry man. Doors are closed. You're committed. Commander. All right, taser face. Get to here. On the move, full speed. Yeah, it sounds like a vehicle. Oh ah, well, no big deal. What do we got in range? Rockets at 5%. Well, I think you're done for today. I well, your command. for that moment. Can we get... All right, there we go. There you are. Onward. Do your job. Do your job. 67%. Beautiful. See ya. Is he going back to the dropship? Enemy down. Hard to tell. Well, I don't see him up there. I guess he decided to stay around. Yes, Commander. All right, this hellhound, please. Move order. See. This guy could be uh, bad news. So he's got an Ultra Five, probably. Para para SRMs and, and probably some small. Oh no! I, I saw the I saw that piece come to, come back down there for a second. Okay, nice. Got one on. Hey. Hey. Get over here. I could shoot for that hunchback, but I want to get pieces of that thing, so. I hope it hurts. Plus, if we can kill this hellhound early, it'll be a massive bonus for us. Oh, he's got a large heavy laser, too. At least that's my guess because of the range. I don't think that if that would have been a medium, it wouldn't have had the range. Ooh. Getting unstable. All we need is one more hit on him. Ooh, he's got the silver bullet. Light damage, Commander. He's got a. It's a pirate version, though. Commander. Ah, I hate pirate weapons. Roger. They didn't have like those misfire chances and stuff. They might be worth it, but. Nope. I was hoping one would hit and make him unstable, but I don't know. Aye, aye. Just going to keep bouncing back and forth here. I think I should alter these guys, though, because yeah, we're starting to group up here. It's not a good idea. All right, let's see if we can hit this guy again. Nope. Damn. Lucky that one. Yes, Commander. We can keep him jumping and keep him unstable. Let's not... Let's not get you into the range of that friggin' silver bullet. Good to go. Let's go after this guy. He's got height advantage, so it's not going to be that adv advantageous for us to move in like this, but... I think we can kill that hunchback from behind. Maybe. Uh, let's not... Overheat, though. Let's just take a pot shot at him. Locking on. Oh, okay. Is he unstable yet? Oh, he is. Nice. Now jump. Yep, nice. I live to serve. Not the best place for you to be, buddy. Uh, let's move here instead. I know the hunchback can see us now, but 
interested to uh, 42 now 55 Let's see if we can keep this guy unstable I have it. nice receiving you Sturm. let's get into here give that silver bullet something else to aim for keep shooting this guy if we can get the knockdown we might be able to finish him up pretty quick No. Let's back up here. Copy. We don't have as much armor, so let's get in the trees, just in case this guy decides to shoot at you. Okay. Alright, slowly whittling, whittling him down. What are you doing? Alright, that was a miss. Nice. Okay, who's up? Granite. Copy that. Two chevrons, we'll take it. Nice. Firing on target. Ah, uh, only one hit though. Damn it. I was hoping for a lot more than that. Oh, you keep jumping, baby. I'm happy with those jumps. You just keep jumping. You jump. Order. Jump around, brother. Hmm. He goes on 11. What are we going on, 12? Let's, um... Hold off for a second. Oh, uh, you ch cheeky bugger. You know I'm coming for you. That's what it is. Commander? You know I'm coming for you. 61. We, we want the knockdown here, so let's go after this guy. Oh, two hits. That's just incredible. For orders. Move over here. I know this is like a, uh, probably a pretty boring match to watch, but... Locked on target. There's the knockdown. Okay. Uh, he resisted the injury, though. That's all right. That's all right. That's all right. Going after headshots. Firing alpha strike. So I don't know what the hell happened with that cluster yeah. round. It did not end up anywhere where I wanted it to. Can't quite get where I need to be here, but that's fine. We'll get all weapons on this guy. I'm going to go for a headshot. I want to see if we can get this guy to bail. And I'm dropping it all on him. Ah! Enemy Large down. improved heavies. No short range missiles remaining. We lost a lot there. Shit. Commander. You had to friggin' roast them, did you? Alright. Let's just scare this guy. I think this guy's got more armor in the back. No, nope, not really. Well, let's just scare him. Roger, Commander. Angle is good. Oof, only one hit. What's up with that? Ready for orders. Don't even need to move. I copy. Everything on him. Nice. What now? Let's go, kiddo. Move up to here. Advancing, I guess. Firing. Oh man. Cluster missed again. Okay, he's unsteady. Yep. Don't need to don't have to worry about moving. Let's just hammer him. Everything hit. Come on, bail out. Nice. Got past his armor. That's a melee. Nope. Nice though. Really bad. Yeah, it was. I didn't really see him doing that to you either. Waiting for orders. I thought the uh, silver bullet Goss had a short range, but I guess it doesn't. Like, like on the way. Double maybe back. it does have a um, restricted fire rate, but he just decided to shoot anyway. Usually, there's a distance problem. Receiving you. Um, he can't get around here over here, so let's go over here and drop some heat.
Guys, hidden. Um, I think I can get through on that side. See if he just decides to hide now. There's nothing I can do about it. Let's go this way. Hey. All right, we got a side shot on him. We're gonna take it. We're not even gonna move here. Enough. I wish I had incendiaries. Yeah. Ooh, I got a side shot from here too. We're gonna take it. Take a shot. Not gonna bail out, eh? I will be done. Yeah, I can get through on this I'll side. Good. Bring you around over here, just in case he decides to hide behind there. We got to come around this side. Okay, I nice shot. Okay, you can cut it out now. He ain't gonna cut it out, right kiddo. He's coming for us. Let's drop some shit on him. Right. That hit something good. Awaiting orders. What do you think, you? Hmm. Yeah, let's just um let's just hang on for a minute. Holding for tactical advantage. Let's just hang on for a second here. Oh, we can get up here. That's nice. I didn't know I could get up there. Let's go. We'll take that. That's not bad. Ah, uh, switching back to normal. Yes, beautiful. Mission successful. What would really top this off is if that um, Hellspawn dropped an Ultra 5. Because then we could replace the heavy rifle with the Ultra 5 in the Hunchback. Yeah, Cephalus. I didn't think he was going to be able to get around behind you. It's just a... Um, this. I know this mech for sure is a... Uh, is a um, Omni, so don't have to worry about this damage. It's just going to take a little bit of time to repair it. So let's see what we get out of this here. Oh, you're uh, getting pissed. Though. You want th Oh, there's four parts of a Hellhound. But I only have three here. So two Guardian ECM, standard fusion engine. Oh, fuck you. This is Steiner though, right? Yeah, forget it. I'm not, I'm not taking that. FB. Um, there's the entire hunchback here. Oh, now what? Silver bullet goss. Recoil of one. 20% chance to misfire. If it was a jam, I'd be cool with it, but... Ah... Battle computers, Tagger, Beagle Probe, Cool Shot Clan. That's a one-time shot though, right? Is it? Or is it minus six heat per turn? Drops heat when active. It has a chance to fail though. That's actually not that bad. Manufacturer, Jade Falcon. This is the first time we've encountered some clan gear, so I gotta be careful what I take here. Clan Exchanger. That's a good possibility. Minus 15% heat, or minus 15 heat per turn, minus 10% heat generated by weapons fire. Jeez, that's like significant. Then there's this for sea bills. Holy shit, look at that. 9 million it's worth. So that's a... Um, at 13%, that's about 1.02 million. 
or 1.1 1. 1. 1 million somewhere in there it's a lot oh god gunnery support B sta uh, stabilizing gyro entrenched after walking which is not bad recon sensors Goss ammo. So we didn't get the Ultra. Okay, so now I need to decide. Well, the mech parts are awesome. I can't put together a mech. So I then need to decide what's my next... Like this is not an immediate upgrade to anything, although it does give me options when I'm building mechs, right? And how often are we going to come across one of these guys? So that's a possibility. The cool shot, I think I've maybe seen this once or twice. Activates when 40 heat damage taken, deactivates below 30% heat. So it it'll turn itself on and off. But the problem, can we actively turn it on and off? Like, can we actively turn it off? That's the question. Because if it's got a fail chance and it's got a chance to explode, and we cut, we're continuously being overheated. There's a good chance it'll go off on me because you know me, right? Um, I'm going to drop this in. Uh, where are you here? Because I could certainly use a million C bills right about now. Ah, oh, man, medium improved heavy lasers, but the heat generated. Hmm. Clan SRM fours. Although a pair of these on that uh, Cephalus. Um, like we could pull two medium. Well, the Cephalus isn't hitting very often anyway. Like the chances to hit are usually pretty damn low. Which is why I put so many lasers on it. Because at least one or one of them will hit somewhere along the way. What it really needs is to have those medium lasers removed and replaced with small improved or small um, pulse lasers. Um, but then the hunchback parts, like one ballistic, two laser. Hmm. Pirate ER medium. Ah, this too. Minus 10% multiplier to jam chance. Proves, our, our pro proves offensive push accuracy by plus two. That multiplier to jam chance is great for anyone, for any build that's relying on ultra weapons. So if I got like a pair of Ultra 5s or three Ultra 5s on a, on a mech, that thing's perfect because it'll reduce the jam tents from 15 down to 5. And then mitigated by pirate, or pirate, pilot skill, right? So a pilot skill of, I think it's 5, reduces it by 5% as well. So you'd have 0% jam chance at skill level 5 on Ultra 5s. Hmm, this is a really, really tough choice. And I rarely ever see these either, right? But if you think about it, so one level of gunnery really will reduce, it's, it's, you get one percentage re jam chance reduction, which, eh. And then you'll get like an extra 2% chance to hit. I mean, it really comes into... It really shines a little later on in the game, I think. At this point, 2% is not going to make or break anything. Although we could put it on the Cephalus. Right? We put it on the Cephalus. It'll make a little... I mean, it's marginal. Like when we're rocking like 25% chance to hit, 2% is not going to give us really that much. 
if we get a pair of these it's you know then you start talking like four percent it's actually not bad one in 25 or one in, yeah one in 25 which isn't too too bad I guess but Battle computer heat minus. See, maybe I look to the future, right? And go for an item that I'm not going to use right now, but I can store. So this is one of the things that's a it's super good on an energy build later on because you want to put a battle computer in, which we can generally get a variety of different types of battle computers as we're playing, right? But finding the battle computer heat is a little harder. The best one is the battle computer optics. Which then replaces your your optics um, targeting system that you can add to the mechs, so it frees up one of your two available um, modifier slots, right? Your bolt-on slots. But this is nice too because it, it's basically having another, um, like having a second um, exchanger, right? I'm think you know, four percent cold shot as well. It's a it's a toss up because the minus six percent or minus six heat in general is nice, right? If my mechs don't heat up, then this thing is just minus six heat straight across the board, right? I don't have to worry about failure. Then when it activates, it drops another twenty heat. But if someone keeps overheating this mech, then, then there's a chance it's going to fail and explode, which is a problem because it's a CT explosion right explode for 30 heat and 50 percent that is damage and stability damage 50 percent of damage 50 percent of that is damage and stability damage so it takes 30 heat 15 physical damage to the ct and 15 stability damage is that what i'm reading i think I, i'm going to go with this i think it's a really it's a really tough call as much as I want like this stuff this is really these two are for future and this is for um, for now let's go with this and see what happens wow two mantis parts yep can't have it good every time, I guess. But we got the tagger, which is okay. Battle computer energy. Small cockpit can go. So let's see how much we get for this. 1.2 million. Beautiful. 200 core we're going to hang on to. Pharaoh and Clan Pharaoh definitely have... Oh, we got the stability gyro. Structure warfare suite. We have one already. It's the quick sell version. Which is okay. It's not amazing, but it's okay. And Goss ammo. Um, let's just sell this because I'm barely using I, I, it. The one I've got now is like it's a backup for for some for stuff. So just sell that one. So there we go. We're at 1.9 million right now. Nice. All right, 13,000. We'll take that. So the good good thing about selling that pirate engine and having the million sea bills is we've got we've got a major issue so far in that. Uh, Griff has still got 59 days and the Holopolis is, is down, like is out for 42 days until we can actually get it into rotation. This is going to give me the ability to between this episode and the next one to jump around a little bit and find a good place to fight. I was going to stay until the Griffin came back um, and play out probably this ambush convoy, I think. Uh, it's actually nice that they don't actually hate us completely anymore. Um, but maybe play out this ambush convoy against the local governments at Two Skull once the Griffin's back. And then once the Griffin's back, then we've got enough sea bills now that we can just jump and go someplace and, um, you know, hopefully, um, like, go to a Two Skull planet so we can pick up some half-decent missions and start um, working towards getting up. Now, i got to also think about... I'm seriously thinking about investing in that uh, Junk Leopard. Um, we do need a fair bit more sea bills before we can do that. Once we do this, though... Um, it's going to increase our cost by 77,000 so 100,000 or more and then when we start dropping that Holopolis and stuff it's going to cost us money so 
I got to make sure that we're capable of being able to deal with that. I think we will be. Um, not necessarily right before the end of the month. This month we'll buy it. I mean, it depends on how well we do. Once the Griffin's back, um, manage our tasks here to make sure our mechs are getting back when they should be. Uh, we do that. So we got three days for the Talos and Cephalus to be back. And nine for the Griffin. So we wait nine days. Griffin comes back. We've got a pilot that we can throw in the Griffin for now. I can't wait for you guys to see the loadout. It's kind of cool. Uh, it's a, it's a little bit of a departure from what I would normally do, but I thought I'd just try something a little different to see if it get it, get it to work. Um, but yeah, this is going to give us the ability to jump if we want, or I mean, yeah, we, we're going to have to jump. So let's get some money, see bills. We got got enough time to pull off a few more missions before the end of the month. Hopefully, we can get over three million sea bills. Then we can buy the junk leopard, and then jump off the planet because we'll have enough sea bills to be able to handle that. And then we'll go to a two skull planet and start rocking like, you know, one and a half to two and a half skull missions, most likely two, two to two and a half for most of the time. Uh, and we'll go that way. But I'm going to end this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Actually, let's go to the mech bay before, before we do. Nice to see I was just interested to see level. how much. Go to storage. I wonder if that FB, if we got any parts from that, that hunchback. We do have, oh man, we had some parts in here for this one. We could have pulled the other one out of service and put that FB in service, but I don't think it's giving us anything that the one that we currently have isn't. Plus we have to spend the time putting it together and all that stuff too, right? So I think we're good. And there's nothing, what do we got down here? Oh, there's a quick sell commando. So this one has got the double AC5, which is an AC5 that just shoots twice. And a handheld combat shotgun. Okay, I had to put this guy together before we quit this episode because I had to see how they designed this thing. All right, let's grab this quick sell guy here. That mech is ready to fight, Commander. I'm interested to see what, like, how they could get on a 25-ton mech. Like, I know if you use, let's just see here. So it's a discount Omni. So if we were just going to repair this real quick. So how would you get, because it's two and a half tons, right? But the shotgun is six tons. So what, what gives it the ability to be able to carry extra besides, like how would it get it in there? I don't see any way that it could get the combat shotgun. So double AC5. Upper recoil, upper recoil. Advanced zoom. So this guy had the advanced zoom. Yeah, how did he get the shotgun in there if it can't... Heat sink removal minus four. Why would you... Why would you do that? I don't understand. Like, what is it? Fewer heat sinks. So, I don't even understand why it would do that. You know, this actually might be a not bad of a scout mech if we, if we keep it. Armor's garbage, though. Speedy leg actuator replacement. Yeah, how does it get the... Uh, what am I missing? That's not going to give it to you, right? Case, double AC, heat sinks, zoom, hybrid TSM one shot. Or, sorry, quick sell. Um... Increases maximum carry weight by two and a half times, so that'll do it. Okay. That was what it was. I was wondering what would give it the ability to carry that shotgun. Man, this is like, this is actually, if you got this mech, this is actually not a bad 25 ton mech. The double AC5 I know can shoot twice, right? Four recoil, 15% misfire chance, seven tons. 
recoil of four. Holy crap. So you got a 40 or 60 percent misfire chance. Right? Isn't that how it works? Or is it flat 15? I mean, that is flat 15 minute, but I thought it was would be increased by recoil, but it's not. So flat up 15 misfire chance. Double auto cans always fire two shots and hit or miss with both. Well, that's interesting. And we've got upper recoil for both arms. Why would it have it for both arms? Probably because it just reduces recoil regardless. Oh, this is the guy that had that weird ass... Uh... So that's the sensors. The Viewmaster cockpit, that was it. This is the guy that had that. You know, it's weird because this guy couldn't hit shit. So minus three recoil with range. Yeah, that's, you know, minus one accuracy to all attacks. So he had this one. So the recoil dropped, but he couldn't hit. Advanced zoom helps. That doesn't do anything for his auto cannon. Upper recoil is minus one to recoil with range weapons. And this one's minus one recoil, but I would have assumed it would have been in the, in the arm that it was in. So... So maybe it was affecting... Yeah, I mean, maybe it was helping with all the recoil. I don't know. I don't think the combat shotgun generates any recoil, does it? It's got two recoil, so it does. Yeah, man. That's actually not that bad. Like, 260,000? We got the money. Max the armor on this thing and see what happens here. 266. We take this off for a second. I just want to see how much... We need three heat sinks, so let's just put... Actually, leg, leg, and maybe CT. So it's an op. Let's I mean, not put it CT. Let's put it here where there's no uh, hard points. So we've got head, torso, and CT. So we got three hard points. Hmm. Wait a minute. Did it have the. It must have had the uh, auto cannon here. Because it can't fit anywhere else. Too many weapons. Yeah, because it, it wouldn't be able to fit in the arm. So it would have to go there. Or maybe it was CT. Could be possibly. Anyway, regardless. Um, let's get it fixed. I'm interested to see... Um, if we start dropping more mechs, it might be a nice little backup mech. So if the Cephalus goes down for whatever reason, because it's got a shit ton of movement here. 7-11? That's pretty fast. You know, and we don't need to put much on it. I'm sure we could find plenty, because this has got almost 8 tons available. I don't think we can actually add... Um, Oh, we can. We can get even more out of this if we want to. We don't have any... Um, we got bulky. See, here's the... Well, I was going to say perfect opportunity for bulky endo steel, but it's not really... Wait, unless we do... Yeah, Clan Furrow gives us space. <laughs> it just gives us extra space. Duralast. What about this? Yeah, I mean, we got seven tons now for for um for shiz for three weapons and whatever else I want to add on there. Like I mean wait a minute, let me just sorry, I'm interested now because this is um like what would you put on as a weapon? Like you could go that's only four tons. You could stick that center torso, let's say. Now, then you gotta go double heat sink kit, which we don't really have for this. We don't have the oh maybe I do. No I don't actually I got the clan double that I had to pull out of the uh, Griffin because we lost the clan heatsink in there and I didn't have a replacement, so I had to put a regular double heatsink kit in. But if we put a double heatsink kit in, replace well, no, because it's going to be it's going to use up an extra six slots, so two, four, six for heatsinks. Then we've got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine slots left. Yeah, we could do that. So what if it's what if it's not that though? Like, what if you went with, like, some missiles or something, like...
that's it's just too much weight unless they were clan stuff it's just seven tons is not enough to be able to to go with missiles you got to go with lasers at that point I mean you could put a you know a, a one rocket 20 in there or something and use it as a uh, a quick strike mech or maybe it's a large a pair of smalls or something like you want to go some kind of warfare suite or something like that as well oh it's already over I mean we'd probably have to pull a little bit off this guy anyway because probably go there oh, maybe not that much oops take one off the back like that then what like if we pull the large out because that's throwing all your eggs into one basket right um, mag shot is only half a ton plus some ammo damage fall off and recoil though I mean you could just go straight up three mediums right add a heat sink to compensate for running and then maybe a couple of jump jets or something So this is a bonus. It reduces your stability threshold, though. That's the thing I don't like. This guy. This guy. Become a versa versatile thing. to So add chaff to the enemy and then sensors. Make it harder for them to hit and then be spotted easier by us. And maybe we drop um, a medium for the tagger. Which would probably have to go in the CT instead. Yeah, I know there's too many weapons in the center torso. That would have to go there. So we could use it as a tag. It's kind of hiding himself. A couple of medium lasers. It'd be nice to get a Rex laser, but we don't have one. What else is there? Some jump jets. Now we do have that one improved jump jet. We dropped some heat, so we're okay if we do put the improved jump jet in. I think it's probably in here. Where are you? The light jump jet. Could drop that in. And then these guys. Oh, maybe we just leave the regular jump jet. And go that route. I mean, it's kind of useless. But I don't know what I... I don't know how I'd get value out of this. I mean, we're reducing our incoming damage. We're tagging stuff. We're staying mobile. We're hiding. You know, I don't know. I don't know. It's just not providing the damage output that I would like. You know, get some night vision in there. And then that's it like 315,000 though you know I'm not going to spend it this would have been nice if we had a double heat sink kit and we had those two um, heavy medium lasers we could put two of those in there with the tagger right double heat sink kit double heat sinks some jump jets I think that would be better like if we gotta go this route what with um, the improved heavy lasers here just so we could get some damage output like it would be a nice backstabber you know even if we just drop the tag and go with like three like heavy lasers or something and heat sinks or exchanger or something but it's an interesting I mean it's an interesting little um yeah, light ballistic backstabber. We could turn it into a light laser backstabber. Ballistics are just too heavy for this thing. Especially if you want to have some kind of armor. 
Anyway, let's not do anything with this now. Let's just save our money. I know it's cheap, but we'll leave it here though because I I do want to actually. Let's just. Uh, I'm just uh, in pass here. Strip everything. Strip gear. Max the armor. 270. 10 days. I'm gonna throw it in the queue. We'll do something with it. Let's just validate it and do it. We spent that time me messing around with it. We can we can figure something else, you know something done. out for it. So let's put it here, and then we'll uh, figure that out. But we'll leave it for now. Figure out whether when that's going to happen sometime in the future. We're going to get the Helopolis back first. And let's make sure that, that that thing is like stuck at the end. Yeah, perfect. Um, yeah, perfect. So I'm going to get the Griffin back, and then next episode we'll run with that, and you'll see the new, the uh, the new loadout. All right, I'm going to end the episode here. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.